Georgia, me and you are bitch fuckers. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the first Unity Game Show. Woo. Making up the two teams of Kyle and Georgia, the bitch fuckers, and Tim and Aaron, the pickle wellish. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they are the two teams versing each other for three games that I have chosen that they are unaware of and are forced to battle to the death. I am scared. In uh yeah. <laughs> oh, and the game show is called Think It Through. There's that. Nobody said yeah. I was gonna die doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I was afraid. Don't worry about it. That was you signed a waiver. Um Okay. <laughs> what waiver? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the Mom, thing that I came to you in the middle of the night and used your blood me. to sign. Um, don't worry. In blood. Okay. It's all right. All right. So. All right, game one. Let's just jump right into it. The first game is player's pitch. Oh God. Which? Okay. So. <laughs> this the one player's game I pitch. Wasn't of. There are two teams, as we know, and they I will randomly choose with the help of a website, a main character. An enemy character, a game type is in the genre of a game, and a location of this game. The team will then start with one person from each team, will, they'll take turns, and they start with describing their game that they would create with the given character and type and location. And when I say switch, it switches to the other person in the team and they have to resume where their partner left off describing this game. You have one minute and I will then decide who the winner is, based on that. Oh god. So, uh, let me actually quickly pull up a stopwatch, <laughs> I forgot to do that. So, hang on, it'll Aaron, take one second. Aaron, don't it up. <laughs> oh, it's yep. gonna go so well. <laughs> Dear lord, where is, um... Oh wait, uh, you might have to actually uh, make us uh, have a name for the game at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could name... How about bonus points if you have a fantastic name for your game? <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, Which team's going first? Bonus points. <laughs> Big ol' wellish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how about... Hang on. I'll To make this even better, I'll flip a coin, and we'll do that. All right. Because I have a bunch of coins everywhere, always. All right, so... Aaron heads. called out. All right. Oh, yeah, all right. Call it out. Heads. Tails. Oh. Damn it, Tails for Wales never fails. <laughs> Why would I pick heads? So, Kyle... <laughs> Georgia Kyle, would and your I, team like to go first? I would like to listen first. Oh, God okay. damn it! So, so yeah, oh, the team no. who wins gets to choose. <laughs> it's a bold play. Okay, so, let's pick the character of It's a bold move, game. Cotton. See if it'll play off. Your character is a drug addict. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> your, your enemy character, as in the, the either the final boss or a bunch of enemies you have to fight, are a Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> Your genre of the game is a party game, oh, which is, I guess, is that like the game like Mario Party where you kind yeah. of have like turn based, like, yeah, it's a turn based kind of strategy, like, winning game, okay. And your location of where the game is set oh, is Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> All right? So what you've got a, dr a drug addict versus a Barbie doll in a party game in Chuck E. Cheese. So. You will have one minute to describe your game, starting with Tim. Oh, God damn it! And whenever Thank I say you. switch, you have to resume where your partner left off. Okay, Aaron, don't f*** it off. Okay. Three. Give me a good story. Two. One. Start. Okay, right. So you're a drug addict. At the start of the game, you can pick your drug that you're addicted to. It all depends on what drug you're on. And that kind of resembles the Barbie doll, how she is actually attracted to you. How matter the drug, how big is she's addicted to you as well? Switch. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> each drug gives you a perk, and based on that perk, you get to get different. Duh! <laughs> you go on. You. different snacks. And if you get. take different drugs, Switch. they go. Yeah, okay, so you have <laughs> the snacks. The different snacks you get are all on the menu of Chuck E. Cheese. And the big and fun part about it is that it's a party inside of Chuck E. Cheese. So what you have to do is be a drug addict together with your friends. Time. 
contempt. <laughs> contempt. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> the name of the game: Druggy Cheese. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now. Let's go over to uh, Kyle and George's team. God we'll see sake. what they get, and what then we'll game? judge from there. <laughs> so, Kyle and Georgia, druggy cheese. Your character is Gandhi. Okay, he was God a. Um, he's he's an American guy, isn't he? Right. Yeah. He was, no, it was he's a an thing Indian. in America. Well, he I mean, yeah, but he was it was stage in America, like he what he did, right? Or he's like a monk. Retarded? He's like a monk. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he's like a guy advocating for like peaceful protest against things and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Georgia? He's a pro protester. Yeah, uh, peaceful protester kind of guy. He's old, he's smart. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I'll give you that one. Alright, your enemy is a mm -hmm. hot dog. <laughs> your type of game is tower defense, which do you both know tower defense? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. What like in Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's... I'm imagining to mention the fact that it's, like, a, a certain route of, like, where your character has to go through, like, a path, and you set up towers on the edge of the path that have to fight the things in waves. Alright? Yeah, so, yeah, you have to fight waves of things based on things that you put down. And then your stage is Times Square. And you being obsessed with America, I would hope you know, Georgia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just had to make sure. All right. So, Gandhi fighting hot dogs in a tower defense game in Times Square. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Starting with Kyle. Start. Okay. So the game basis is Gandhi's going on a food strike to try to go against violence in America. And the police inside of New York are trying to force feed him hot dogs. In which case, you have to defend him using his loyal followers as meat shields. So what you do is you constantly be build up more people, and the further you get into the game, the stronger people you can get to eat the hot dogs for Gandhi. Switch. Switch. So this, uh, this game is going to be called Gandhi's Day Off, and he'll be constantly sitting inside of his overall tower, and he'll be not eating the entire time, and you lose the game if you get five hot dogs to Gandhi. So the life is five hot time. dogs. Time. Time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Gandhi's Day Off against, well. what would Tim call his? Druggy cheese. Druggy, Druggy cheese. cheese. So, Druggy cheese. I'm gonna say why of the things about each game. So, <laughs> Georgia and Kyle, since yours is most recent in memory, um, the the firing hot dog thing. That's Georgia. They're the enemies, so you wouldn't exactly fire them. It's kind of weird. That's just my first point. And then you know, it's just. I mean, that's all right. I can see it. Um, Druggy cheese. Um. I don't actually remember what I was going to say about that game. <laughs> it was just altogether really weird. Um, Yay. That's huh. why you like it. Uh. To be honest, these were both um, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, whew, this is this is a big decision. Oh, I just have so many better ideas now that I can't say yep, them anymore. That's the time. To yeah, think. me too. Okay. <laughs> uh, man, it's a hard decision, but I'm going to have to give this one to... Druggy cheese. Woo! Oh, yes! yes! So Way to go, you guys, Aaron! <laughs> you guys get Thank you, points. Tim! I did all the work! Yeah. You guys get 30 <laughs> points for that one. <laughs> the name, I like the name too, that was good. Was Druggy good cheese. <laughs> Alright, yes. so. Now, jumping straight to the next game. We have mixed meanings. Yes! Which, I give a slang term, or a something that isn't typically used in maybe your region of speech or something. I feel like there's someone, there's, I, I feel like this is, what I picked is decent for the people who now we have in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I pick a slang term that I then start with one of the teams, and so say I started with the pickle wellish, and <laughs> I would give them the term, they would, each of them would have to give up their own definition of the term, 
and then I'll switch to the other team, and they get one combined definition, because since they got to sit through the other team providing their definition, it's kind of unfair to give them the same, you know, time. So then it will switch, and we'll do the reverse for another turn. Okay. So the first term I have is spitch, which I will put into the Skype chat, it's Skype chat, S-P-I-C-H. Spitch. It's currently standing there, spitch. Hey. That is your term. We're going to start with bitch fuckers. <laughs> and you both get what to provide your name? own definition for it. You can converse about it if you like, but you have two tries, basically. Alright. Alright, so what is your... What do you think spitch means? Alright, I'm I'll, I'll seeing... Give you, I'll give you one okay. kind of thing. It is kind of... It's a, it's a describing word for something or someone. First right. guess, I would like to assume sassy bitch. You're a okay. bitch. Okay. Georgia, do you, what do you think it means? Actually, I was thinking too with Georgia. I was feeling like, for my second guess, I was thinking kind of like, um, almost like, like a description for food, like spicy-ish. Yeah, well, that's the point that's of the it. point. So what do you think it means? If I were to call someone Spitch, what would you... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm still... Exactly. I, I believe in the sassy bitch. Alright. So jumping over to Tim and Aaron, you guys have one combined definition. You can converse okay. about it if you like. It, okay. It can okay. be the same as what they say. It's just, yeah. you know, you gotta... It's All based right. on... Aaron. I was gonna Aaron, go with no, sexy no, 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 peaches. No, 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 Aaron. We get no, to converse no, about Aaron. it. We get to converse shh, about it. It's all right. Shh, it's all right. Calm I down, know Tim. this one. I actually know it. You know it. I know. I didn't know of it was a thing. I know it is a thing. <laughs> is it sexy peaches? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not sexy peaches. <laughs> Fucking love peaches. <laughs> What is it? Okay, so it, this is actually used by some friends of mine. It's really weird. Spitch is when uh, someone says something so insane, so crazy, and so stupid, and so weird that you're just speechless. <laughs> well, wow. I will tell you, <laughs> Tim, you got it. Woo! On, the, on yeah. the head. You were spot on. Yeah. But Georgia also provided really weird yeah. and freaky. So Georgia I'm going to give. Really close. I'm gonna give the the thirty to to Tim and Aaron, and but I'm gonna give seventeen points to Yay. Georgia because yeah, the Georgia. key thing is that it's so weird that it can't be described. It's yeah. kind of really yeah yeah. Woo. So good, good on you guys. All right, mm. now we have another term. We're now going to start with Tim and Aaron. Yay! And you can each provide your definition. Okay. It is a phrase this time: uh -oh. a raisin in a sausage. <laughs> what? Yeah, Georgia. I believe. I put it in. A raisin in a sausage. Tim and Aaron, you can each provide your definition. You can decide who goes first. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, I'll go first. Right? Is that, is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Right. Okay. A raisin is a sausage. I'm gonna take this the Tim way, and I'm gonna go mm -hmm. and say sausage is your wiener. Just your dick. <laughs> All right. I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right, Georgia, say okay. nothing. Okay. For the guys out there, everybody knows like kidney stones, and. Like, it just hurts in your dick. <laughs> it just hurts in your fucking dick. So raisin in your dick. And it's a raisin in stuff. your dick. It just, like, in there, and it scrapes in there. And okay, just Aaron, what's your hurts. definition? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, we have Tim's, Is uh... it something that shouldn't exist? Like, it, it's just wrong in every way. Basically, my description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of you have, um... Right. That's gonna be my guess. Okay, now, Georgia says you, you say you know it, so I'm gonna let's let Georgia see what... go first. Yeah. All right. Well, there's it's only one combined definition for your group, Cal, because you're going second. All right. Hmm. Wow, again, <laughs> right on the head. You That's very elaborate. <laughs> nailed it. That's exactly the definition. A pleasant surprise in something already good. 
Wow. That is the definition. Yeah, Georgia. It's said in... Okay, this <laughs> totally didn't go in the order I thought it would. Like, this is said in Norway, and so I was thinking, like, Tim might be more likely to get it. As you know, he's in, like, the Netherlands. It's, you know, at least more How similar. is Norway something in the Netherlands? <laughs> it's not. No, I'm saying, but you're closer than she is. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And so, wow. yeah. Georgia, you win. You're best. Yep, Woo! Georgia, you got the 30 points. And Way to go. Uh, Pickle Wellish got none because they were completely wrong. Yeah, you're, you're you're the killer. But kidney we're stones, though. Come on. <laughs> uh, you were completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So Sorry, Aaron. The, tie, the, the, the scores are currently 47 for Pitchers and 60 for Pickle Wellish. Woo! That is the current standing. Yeah. Okay. So the next game, we can do it. Where you, uh, bitch fuckers, gotta bring it home. Gotta bring it home. <laughs> we have unusual usage. Oh god, that's all me. Which I have either created or found certain objects or creatures. In this case, creatures, where one of them is real and the other two are fake. I have two sets of three. That you will each take turns in terms of the row, just like last time. So I have one. One of them is real. Two are fake. These are animals. So your your team has to decide which one that they think is the real creature. Ooh, dude, I, I watch pictures, Animal Planet. I'm, I'm I have pictures one. of them that I will send you. They all have the same background to keep it as you know in the variables as consistent as possible. Mm -hmm. And I I will tell you now that in one of the groupings. There may be something that can exist, but your goal is to tell me the the picture, whether the picture is a real documentation of whatever animal may be there. All right. Okay? So. Dude, I'm going to uh, kill this one. I should. <laughs> when So if you guess the right uh, uh, creature that is real, you get 20 points. But if you guess the right creature and you have to describe kind of what the creature is. In terms of, say, Ooh. if it's a combination of two creatures that you would kind of say, I have I have made up my own stories behind each of them, and names. So the names, I feel like they'll, I think they'll, they'll send, you'll see that in the file name, so that's not really anything. But, uh, yeah, you if you provide the explanation of what the animal is, I will kind of judge based on that. So the first grouping, which Tim can edit into the video afterwards, Yep. Uh, I will put in now. This is why I had you download the files. These are the three animals that you have to guess of okay. which one is real. Yeah, Tim's, uh, I mean, not Tim's, Kyle's uh, experience of, what did you say, Animal Planet? That, yeah. That might come in handy here. Back in my past, I had zero friends, but I had Animal Planet. <laughs> Jeff Warwin was my friend. Wow. Nice. That nice. took a okay. dark turn. <laughs> so yeah, you have to pick out the real animal of all these all right. combinations. The real animal. Really wish this would download faster. <laughs> I got my, I see my three. Okay. Me too. So then I, I, guess, we can, I guess we can start with bitch fucks then. Alright, Owen, read them off for me. I'm ready. Read them off? As in the names? Yeah. Alright, so. The the weird thing, the bird thing, is the Remu. That is its name. R-H-E-A-M-U. That is mm -hmm. its name. God. The second thing, or at least the, you'll probably, is the Jackalope. The, um, yeah, that. And yeah. then there's the Gazantelope. Okay, those are the All names right. for those animals that I've created. They they actually do, the real ones have real names, but I've created my own names for them. For yeah, some yeah, of the yeah. names, you know. To keep things confusing for everyone. Mm -hmm. So Kyle, I mean, you, Kyle can just like say the one that he thinks it might be. Is the yeah, I'm looking, one. I'm trying to, I'm already stuck between two. And I'm just mm -hmm. sitting here, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I am almost got it. I I'll really tell you, I'm say, trying to be what? tricky with this. I'm trying to be tricky. That's one thing. All right, can I say my guess? You can say your guess, yeah. I would like to say that the bunny with antlers is the real one. Okay. Because I know about my experience with animals. I have actually seen rabbits with antlers, and it was a really weird experience. But I know they do exist. And okay. the emu, it seems like already too, it seems too much like an emu. I feel like you added yeah. something to it. Okay. I'm gonna tell you now. You have to. Your job is to describe not necessarily whether it's a real animal, but whether it is a the picture that I have given you is of that animal. That's the key. Oh, I would, I'm still saying picture. yes for the rabbit. Okay, okay. Georgia has all yours loaded. Do you, like, say agree with your teammate here? All right, well, I, Georgia, I'm once saying that the rabbit thing is real. Do you agree with me? No? <laughs> well, okay. there goes the team. Okay. <laughs> Which do you think is real, Georgia? 
Well, I'm Aaron, I agree. <laughs> All right, maybe we could, like, while Georgia does that, maybe we can jump to the other team and see what they might say, and then you can come back and see, and then you guys can decide. All right, all right. Final answers. All right, so let's hear what Tim and Aaron have to say. Well, Aaron, what do you think? Uh, mm-hmm. well, let me hear what you think first. <laughs> <God's sake. laughs> okay, um, I think the jackalope, so the bunny with the antlers, mm-hmm. yes. is just a little bit too much. Okay. Yeah. I, it, that's just just me. Mm-hmm. Um, so which one do you think is real? I actually think the R- Remu is real. Okay. See, I'm pretty sure that's not real because a Raya ah. and an Emu are separate animals. Oh. They are. They are. That is true. So the Gazantelope then. Remember. Uh, they're. I mean, considering their species of birds, maybe they had some sort of. A Sex. drunk night, and they made some mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing some options out there, you know, yeah. You whatever you think. Yeah. And they had a nice, raisin in a nice, sausage. Nice, nice, nice analyzation. And they oh, had yeah, a raisin in a good. sausage. Good. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Aaron says the gazantelope. Yeah, yeah. Gazantelope. Tim yeah. Says yeah, I agree. The, I agree. Okay, they're going for the gazantelope. Georgia, yeah. have you downloaded the final picture? Thank you, Georgia. Okay. I'm saying I've watched so much Animal Planet. I am like 98% sure I have seen this species of rabbit before. Okay, so, we've all had our discussions. The boy decide that it's the jackalope, and the uh, pickle wellish decide that it is the gazantelope. So, I will tell you that it is the gazantelope. Yay! Yeah! Yes! Hey, what? Oh crap! The jackalope. <laughs> <God>. Yeah. <laughs> too many, too many antelopes in this game. The the jackalope is actually a fictional animal. It, it's a it's a it's a hare with I'm not actually quite sure. It is a hare with antlers, I guess. You know. Yeah. I did some research, and apparently, it's a commonly viewed animal that people believe is real, but it's not. Ooh. I mean, that's from what I've done. The raya and the emu. Aaron caught on very nicely. That is a species of ostrich. The raya. And it, I spliced it with an emu. I have the head of an emu. So good on that. I had never heard of a raya before. So I didn't even know how to say it. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The gazantelope is actually a real animal that looks nice. really weird. I admit, yeah. it looks very fake. It looks like but an. It is a real animal. Like like an elephant and a cow. Its actual name. I, uh, <laughs> hang on. Let me see if I can find its actual name here. It's not a gazantelope. I made the names for that. It is a saga antelope. Oh. S A I G A antelope. Ah, ah. It kind of looks like a gazelle and an ant- antelope, so I said that. Wait, is it right. jackalope the actual like mythical name for it though? For the rabbit? Jackalope is the actual mythical name. Yes, right, I like that name, yeah. and I just stuck with it. All right, that high five, Aaron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So I'm gonna yeah. give the 30 <laughs> points to um, them because Aaron caught on to the Raya thing. He had a nice explanation of it, and so nice. I'm gonna give that 30 nice. points to them. Way to go, Aaron. Yeah. All right. Thank Woo! you. So. <laughs> now, okay, so now we have the uh, second group of it. So the b****s went first last time, so we're going to have the uh, Pickle Wellish go first this time. All right. There's the other group of animals. Hey, Aaron, by the way, if we win this, you have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you the names. The bird, the red bird, is the Rodinal. And the... The bug thing is the Scorchito, yeah. and the dog is a Wusky. Alright. Okay, so, the Pickle Wellish, you guys go first, you can discuss your answers, or maybe just like, you can you can provide your definition of why, or you can just yeah. give your answers straight up, and that way you can kind of, you know, hinder the other team if you want. Okay, Aaron. Yeah. The fly thing, no. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so, um, I'm wondering if Owen's actually fucking with us, if it's a husky, <laughs> or not. Uh, am I? That's the question. Or, or it's just You know wh- my knack of spicing Yeah, animals, I, I, so. I know you, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what you think, Aaron. Well, I would go with the husky, but it seems too obvious. Yeah. Remember. Remember, it's the picture, whether the picture is Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's your goal. Hmm. Also, the names can kind of be a key of whether it 
what the combination of names might be. Of you think of like what part of this body would be the part of this head or something. What you know? did you call the first one? The first one, the bird, was the rodinal. Rodinal. Hmm. So pickle wellish, are you done discussing? Okay, Aaron. I- let's just go with the husky. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. Cause, okay. cause Our turn. It might be the easy turn, but just fuck it, do it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any explanation of why? Because it Maybe really it looks right like a husky. <laughs> sure. All right, all right, we'll give it to you for that one. All right, uh, now over to the <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> okay, <bitch> Georgia. <laughs> I know you couldn't talk last time, but this time I'm sure of it. It's the scorpion thing one. And I've seen it before. It's called the scorpion fly, and it like it fucks shit up. But it all does okay. it eats like dead organisms and stuff. Doesn't okay. really kill things. It eats small bugs and things. It's it's called the scorpion fly. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm, I'm I'm ready? I'm ready for this one. George, anything to add? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this all brings it down. That's kind of what we did. That's what you did. I'm actually going to go back and change the previous team's thing points to 25 because he did he didn't describe the actual animal they chose and why it was real. I'm so I just kind of gonna be picky on that, but it's 25 instead. Of <laughs> just because you know he did describe the Raya nicely, but he didn't describe why you chose the actual animal that was correct. I'll now say. Oh. I will say the pickle wellish. You got it wrong. Oh. That is a combination of a wolf and a husky. God a sake. husky head <laughs> and a wolf body. And <laughs> they can actually breed and create offspring, but the picture itself was not real. I put a husky's head on a wolf's body. Okay? And now let's go to the rodinal. The rodinal was a cardinal body and a robin head, which yeah, I will tell right. you didn't splice very nicely, but I mean, it, it worked. And so that means that the scorchito or the scorpion fly, as it is actually commonly referred to as, Fuck yeah. uh, is the real animal. What? Thank you, Animal Planet. So. Dude, Animal Planet top 10 most extreme weirdest animals. I got you. Now, oh my god. That is 30 points for that team, but that brings the total to no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be like two. Not quite. Tell it. Tell it. Um, Come on, Aaron. We need to win. <laughs> eight points away. It's a, uh, yeah, 77 for the bitch f***ers. And 85. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! So they are the victors. Although, I, I do have to say that the because <laughs> you did fight valiantly. <laughs> you had a very nice run on those uh, animals there. Nice that game. Was, that was good. Nice game. Very good. Very good. Oh, All right. nice, Aaron. Woo! Yeah! So, yeah! That was a good first episode of Tit. <laughs> We're just too good. That I know, good right? Tit. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that for the first Unity game show Yay. of the victors, uh, Pickle Wellish. We Yay. will see how that holds up the next time that we may do this, as we do plan <laughs> on bringing back the victors of this round. So, Aaron, you have to sit through another recording with us. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, more than pre-recording is the bad part. Yeah, Woo! yeah. The extra recording, that worked out. Worked wait, out wait nice. a second. I just beat two of my own people on my channel. <laughs> uh, wait a second! Yeah! <laughs> this is not a victory yeah. at all! <laughs> good, right. good. Thanks for watching! Yeah. Cue the cheesy outro <laughs> now! Yeah, we Title screen with everybody in its producers and shit. Yay! Hello, I'm the host, I did everything! Cameraman, they are not here. Watch. Kyle, I'm sorry if this makes sense for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Avery. I'm gonna go with that. Sniffing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Which one, Tim? I don't know which one. <laughs> I like mine. Mine's pretty good. Oh, Yay! Yeah. I knew it was Tim's. I had to.